Hey guys, so I've had a little jump in my subscribers. It's only 300 and something, but I remember when I had 15, I was happy with 15. I'm not in this for money, I'm in this just for the hobby. So um, I'm gonna go through all my tanks, one by one and explain everything. Not the builds, but pretty much just the stocking. For those of you that are new. So let's, uh, let's get this started and I'll show you everything. So this is my 90, my African tank. Um, for those of you that watch my videos, you know I do not like Africans. This is the only African I'll keep because they're so cool. They Obviously they're Venuses in case, <clears throat> for those of you that didn't know, the males you see on the left turn yellow. The blue face, they change from that giraffe pattern. See him, he's pretty aggressive. Uh, I have Fry, I'll show in a sec. So I have some old live rock used to be in my, this used to be a salt water. It's a DIY background I made from spray foam uh, about a year ago and it's holding up very well. Uh, there's a couple videos, I'll try to find the original video where I got this idea and put it in the description. I forgot the guy's name, but uh, the, the Africans you know, they are what they are, they're pretty cool. I have two males in here. There's the other male, the large one, showing his color. He uh, takes up this side of the tank, but the dominant male, which is actually a little smaller, takes up this side of the tank. They're kind of spooked with the phone, but he is awesome. There's one of the fries I was telling you about. Uh, I have a deep sand bed in here. As you can see, it's about three or four inches. And all I have is one Sun Sun filter powering this, which uh, the water is a little low, so it's kitchen some air, so I probably need to fix that. So this is the 90. A couple times I've thought about changing this up. I change stuff a lot, but so far so good. It's my wife's favorite tank, my least favorite, but it's all good. All right, let's look at the 350. All right, here's the 350. It's seven feet long by, uh, I don't even remember, 30 tall and 30 something front to back. I don't remember the dimensions. I built it a while ago, but it's a South American. I have like um, one Central American, that Cuban. I've had her forever. She actually did lay eggs in the back, but there's nothing there, no one there to breed with. She's a fatty, look at her. These uh, Oscars, cheese my oldest fish. He's pretty big. He was the dominant fish and he still is, even though Rose, which I got not that long ago, these things grow fast, especially when you have the room. These two were tiny. I got them at Petco. My daughter wanted to rescue them because they were getting beat up in the tanks. I bought them and they're not getting picked on now. I have three Severums two of these regular green severums and one gold severum. I have four chocolates that I got from Imperial Tropicals. They are absolutely beautiful. They're really hungry. I'm gonna feed them in the video. I have a, a male chocolate and he's really large and he always sits in this spot and I wish I had to film him and he never turns to the side. Oh, excuse me, I have three green severums. I didn't even notice them. I forgot about him. These are, I forget the name. I thought they were regular Akaras, but they're not. There's two and those two out there. I got them in a creek in Florida. My mom's neighbor caught them, gave them to me. So I've had them for a long time. I went on vacation, drove. That's where I'm from and uh, drove back with them along with that catfish. He minds his own business. He eats a lot. Look at that fat, upside down catfish. Wow, that thing is big. Um, I got this wood. Actually in the parking lot at work. I seen it, I know like, that would look perfect. Came home, cleaned it. I actually have it zip tied to some rocks because it's still not waterlogged after almost a year. 
Um, I kept I kept this tank pretty simple. I, I wanted to, I wanted to have plenty of swimming room, but still have you know a couple hiding spots. So I just put one big like centerpiece wood in the middle, a couple plastic plants. The sevens really eat plants. I've tried plants in here. Um, I made this tank about a year and a half, and I have had zero problems with it. One 300 watt Eheim filter keeps this thing at. Let's see what the temperature is. 75 77 I keep a little bit cooler if it calms them they don't need it that hot I'm not breeding okay I think that's just about oh I have a couple little rainbows I always forget about those guys too back there one of course he's in the way let's check out the other tank so this is my 75. It's a rimless 75. Uh, I added a rim to it. This could be because I want these uh, covers. I want a cover. Or fish will jump out. I don't, it, it was pretty much made for salt water, but I don't have salt water. I have one little flower horn mixed with Vieja. Little male in here. He's uh, he's pretty awesome. He moves everything around so much. I always have to put everything back. I built a sump for this down here. Well, I need to change the pads. That, those are overflow holes. About time to change those pads. I have one little um, washer in here. He minds his own business. Flowerhorn minds his business. Let's go on to the thousand. I built this thousand gallon recently well not that recent actually it's been about six months i think and all these fish were in my 350 and now they're in here with a lot of room to grow they're very hungry the yesterday was fast day so they are excited i have many fish i don't even know if i can remember them all a lot of since spill them melanura some black belts couple Argentias, more little flower horn mixes. I have some Cubans in here, Red Devils, some Jagovis, Red Texas, six Bala Sharks. There's a Jagovi little guy. They'll grow. Two huge parrots. It's very far down. This tank measures eight feet by four feet tall by four feet front to back and of course these plants which uh, I will be starting see I hung the lights because I'm starting I'm gonna grow vegetables on here I'm gonna grow cucumbers cauliflower like a little aquaponics system I finally got them trained to not eat the roots because they were just eating roots but now they won't I have some fry from those black belts down here those are my other videos you can see them I'll be selling them soon. So if you want to see like individual fish, you can look back at my other videos and check them out. But for those of you new to the channel, thanks for subscribing. And I just wanted to do a quick video of all my fish. All right, YouTube. See ya.